Alright guys and girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel, the Anthony Kenneth Bishop channel. This is me, and this is my channel. So I'm just uh, in the middle of cooking my dinner. This is my Slim Fans dieting. This is day 365. So yes, guys and girls, one year. One year on the dieting plan. That's all it that took me to get really, really, really good. And I was like 20 stone before. Now I've come a long way from 2015 to now which we're in 2017. So you can tell how much progression I've put into it. A lot of my heart, a lot of my soul, a lot of my dedication, all into this. And a lot of hard work has been paid off just to look good. I'm not finished yet. I've still got all this fat to get rid of or stretch it out and try and uh, move it around. Thing is, people say, oh, well, you should have like an operation to get the rest of it cut off. Nah, ah, 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 ah. You want to do the body, you want to keep the body to its natural form. Whether you've got a bit of fat around there, don't matter, just love it. It's your body, it's your fat, and you need to keep that um, fat of yours as it is. Because sometimes, when you do have fat removed, it can have complications and even uh, get worse than it can be. It can actually make it worse. So... It's best, I've heard a lot of stories where people have like, they don't feel like they feel right because they've had half of their skin removed or half, because what they do is basically what the fat is, they cut the fat out and all of that, but that fat was actually yours in the first place, but you, sh you should be able to just like burn it off yourself. I wouldn't see why you couldn't burn it off anyway. I mean, it'd take a couple of years. It would take a couple of years just to put back in two or three years down the line but god all this here all this here this is all my skin and even though it's fat i can repair that i can actually build muscle around it i can actually chisel it off so it looks better than it already looks right now and yeah it's all it's all good I'm I'm happy with my body. I don't care if I've got I don't care, right? Say I've got a girl, uh, I don't know, um, and I look like um, that bloke from Austin Paris. What's his name? Fat bastard, they call him. And he's like, remember, he's on a like a diet, and then he's in that film, and he's like, oh, I've been on a diet, you know, I've been on a diet, and oh, and oh, I got all this skin now, this extra skin, just flabbing along. I mean, oh, I mean. It's your skin at the end of the day. Whether you put your skin into it, it's all your work that you've paid off. Just keep it, um, just remember it. I mean, if you've got a little bit, if it's not too much, but I mean, if you're that worried about it, you can get it just cut out, but I wouldn't advise surgery at all on it. I advise just to burn it off naturally. Take a while, but it, your skin should go back into, um, yeah, and to like your areas, it should just pay off in the end anyway. <sighs> but anyway, this is my breakfast uh, video. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually burn this off uh, using it natural. I mean, there is oils apparently out there where you can use oils or uh, stuff like which stretch it back in, so it kind of puts it back in. And they have said it actually works. I don't know for sure if it works or not. But a lot of people all, apparently there was um, another one, uh, a friend of mine was telling me, where you can actually wrap foil around it. Not foil, but more like wrapping stuff, like for sandwich wrapping stuff. And it just holds it in, so basically it takes all the sweat inside. And it's supposed to push it back into normal, but whether that works or not, I have no idea. It's more of a, I don't know, it's... More of a prefer uh, preference of which way you want to go, guys and girls. So I'm just um, doing my rice. It's nearly actually done, my rice. 
I'm just going to let it like. I'm having a cup of hot chocolate at the moment with soya milk in. And. Mmm. I'm having a bit of caramel in it as well. I like that. As long as you don't have too much, a little teaspoon, just a little bit in there, just mix it up. Absolutely spotless. Tastes, tastes absolutely good. And I'm actually taking my training now, I'm gonna try and take it a little bit further, a little bit extra uh, uh, step forward, and just work even more harder than I've worked before. I, uh, I mean, They said it's going to be hard to get a six pack, but do you know what? When the actual, uh, my body weight goes down, I want to actually, I want to see if I can get a pair of scales where I can actually find out about the weight and all of that. So I can actually have a sort of like, where it does um, water weight as well. And it does a sort of like how much body fat you've got on it. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna see if I can get some scales with body fat weight on it, so it can tell which how much body fat is. So it does a calculation of how much your body percentage is per the fat and all that. Uh, uh, so my mum, she's having some um, spaghetti hoops today with her chicken. Got the chicken just there, so. I'm just waiting because this has been in here for like quite a few minutes now, the actual rice. For about, I'd say 20, almost 20 minutes. I bought, I got, I come back about 20 minutes ago actually because I've just gone to Argos. Going to start doing some more like stretching exercises as well. And. The thing is, when I lie down on the floor and I'm doing my exercises on the floor, I find that my back hurts a little bit, and it's because the floor is so hard, and it's pretty much like it's killing my back. So, I got one of these, like, cheap. Apparently, this is supposed to help with the actual back and all of that. This is a Pro Fitness foam roller so supposed to be quite good for you and all that to assist with stretching improving alignments so this is quite cool it's a foam roller so yeah you lie on it um, and it's supposed to help with your form so it's more like use this foam roller to assist with stretching uh, improving alignment and increasing flexibility can be used for uh, pilots, pilates, balancing and to provide a deep tissue massage for aching muscles. So if you've got an ache as well and also, um, hold on, uh, let me just stir this up, wait until this actually evaporates all the water in here it doesn't burn up. Actually and I need to get a was it a mat as well. A mat. Uh, I've got some of these mix up your morning routines with stretch sets. So this is a stretch set that cost me four ninety nine bloody cheap actually. Um, this is gonna help um, for this is a cross tube expanders, handles, ring tube so basically you can stand on it and then you lift up your arms and all that and start stretching and that kind of like gives you a bit more muscle in as well helps with your muscles, your joints and all that so it's pretty cool but yeah, definitely worth it, definitely good and I'll just put this over here, so. No, it's not all like. 
it's not all evaporated yet. the wall. Anyway guys and girls, cheers for watching this episode. If you want to watch the dinner and me preparing the dinner and stuff, that will be on the next episode on uh, today's uh, 3rd of January uh, 2017. Cheers for watching. And catch you guys and girls on the next video.